Sometimes people are, are crying in pain. Sometimes people are, are un unconscious and you don't have any idea whether they're going to wake up or not. Um, and uh, you know, you're often relying on AMBOs uh, or other medical professionals that are on the scene to, to tell you what's going on. So as a critical care paramedic, I attend the more high acuity jobs, the patients who are life-threatening, who are sick, dying, medical, trauma, it's, it, it, our, our sort of range goes across the board. We would prefer never have to, to go to another road crash. Um, I'm sure if you spoke to any of the emergency services, they would say that, that it's a part of our job, it's a big part of our job, it's a job that we train for, but we'd be very happy if we never ever had to go to another one again. There's no message, there's no text, there's, no, there's nothing that's worth what can be the consequences of using a device while you're driving. That moment of distraction can be enough and, and it often is enough for things to go horribly wrong. Every one of them will stay with me, like every one of those patients. Uh, and it, again, it doesn't you know, matter whether they're old or young, you're still exposed to it. And to put someone in that position, it's just horrific. It's the, the worst day imaginable for them, for their family. And then what's to come afterwards if they survive? It's impossible not to be impacted by those sorts of scenes. I've certainly seen people make comments in social media saying, um, you know, that we just have to accept that a certain number of people will be killed on our roads every year. I don't accept that at all. Um, and particularly when you go and you, you pick each incident apart time by time and you see how every, just every single one of them is preventable. Um, every single one of them didn't need to happen if, if, uh, if people followed the rules, if people uh, made sure their vehicles were safe, that they wore their seatbelts, that they um, kept to the speed limit, all of those things. Um, I, I don't accept that um, we should ever be happy with anything higher than a zero road toll. There's going to be a lot of traffic on the road. Just accept that it's going to take a fair bit of time to get there. My message for people at Easter, at any time, drive safe, remember the fatal five. I say it's not worth killing for, it's not worth dying for. Get there safely. Another minute, another five minutes on the road. It's not worth being dead. Riding, driving, however you get around, doing it, remembering that there's people who care that you come home safely, and that's what we're all about.